Hi, I'm Little Artiman and welcome to my channel. Uh, as you can see, I haven't started the speed paint yet or the speed is video, uh, but I wanted to introduce it uh, when I'm sketching. So I'll be making some sketches here and I thought because we are in August, I would do a frog because there is um, a trend that I saw online of people um, making frogs. Uh, which means that they draw frogs every day or every week and I decided to draw a frog because I think they are really cute and I think I'll be drawing a character uh, with a frog outfit like inspired by a frog and I think that will be really cute and I also uh, want to sketch in here make uh, some studies and explore ideas and then maybe I'll make a finished piece in these uh, I bought this sketchbook, it's all white spaces, as you can see they are a little bit on the yellow side uh, but I think they are a little bit better than these ones because these ones are really thin and these are a little bit thicker and I may use some markers on this to try and make a finished piece on traditional art because I haven't been feeling a lot of confidence with my digital art because I find it hard to sketch digitally but I think that's the plan for today, so stay tuned! Okay, uh, as you can see I started drawing a face just because I wanted to sketch something easy first and I think it's really easier to draw face facing forward. So that's what I started with. I drew a very cute face because I do think frogs are very cute and the frog aesthetic is just super adorable, so that's what I started with. And I wanted to draw a head because I think I see a lot of frog heads in this aesthetic and I think they are really cute so that's what I'm doing and I wanted to explore some different uh, options of clothes uh, so I'll be doing those in just a bit. As you can see I'm just drawing a simple base. Uh, I'm drawing a more feminine uh, figure because that's what I feel most comfortable with, I think it's easier and I raise it a little bit to make it lighter and then I start sketching some clothes. This first one I think it's really cute, I really like the shirt, it's a, a big uh, puffy shirt and it has long sleeves but I didn't know what to draw in the bottom, uh, I thought about drawing some pants then some shorts and then even a skirt but it wasn't looking two woods so I decided to just draw some boots and move on to the next design. This second one is really cute, it's more of a summer outfit, it has a t-shirt and some shorts and it's the one that I ended up with and it was really cute, just really summery, really sporty and then this last one I didn't really love how it ended up, uh, I wanted to make a skirt or a dress uh, but I ended up not loving it, I just really like the sock but I don't think they would look good with the second design so I ended up not drawing them but maybe on another drawing. <laughs> As you can see I'm drawing another face and I'll be drawing another one uh, next to this one uh, just because I wanted to explore some different hair accessories. Uh, I'll be drawing another hat, a different hat and then like uh, a cute hair accessory that I don't know the name of but I think it, it looks good but I ended up choosing the first hat just because it was my favorite and I think it fitted the aesthetic better.
uh, as you can see I finished sketching and I moved on to this sketchbook that I bought uh, that has thicker paper uh, so I'll be making the finished pieces on this sketchbook uh, as you can see I had to erase it and start over just because it was too big and didn't fit in the page um, but it's really cute and it ended up uh, being a good choice of a sketchbook because it can handle markers really well and it doesn't bleed a lot uh, through the other side uh, but you'll see that uh, in the end of the video as you can see I'm just drawing a, a cute simple pose I didn't make something too elaborate just because I, I didn't feel like it and I'll be starting to draw the outfit right now As you can see I chose the second one as I said and I will also choose the first hat and I think it turned out really cute. I think it's a, a really nice outfit and I think it fits the frog aesthetic that I was going for. Okay, so as you can see, I've already made here the drawing with pencil. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, go over it with uh, a pen. Uh, I'll try to be very careful to not ruin all the details. I'm always very nervous when I'm doing a uh, line art like in a paper because with a pencil I can erase it, but with a pen I can't. So uh, let's hope for the best. Okay, so the line art uh, went very smooth, uh, I made it with this pen, it's just a regular black pen, those that are used for writing, not an ink pen, just a regular ball pointed pen, uh, and I used that one because I didn't have my fine liners, I mean I have them but they don't have ink in them anymore, I have to buy a new one, uh, but I think it turned out okay, as you can see I managed to uh, draw all the little things even though it took some effort to uh, stay calm and don't shake my hands too much while drawing the little details especially on the face but I think it turned out okay Okay, line art done. I don't think it looks too bad. I think it's okay. I think for uh, the first drawing on this book, I think it's a good start. So I'm going to wait a little bit for this draw. Oh, I forgot to draw a little bit here. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm going to wait a little bit for this to draw so that I can erase the pencil afterwards and then uh, put some markers in here. Uh, while I do that, I'm going to show you my markers. Uh, so I have uh, this set, they are a lot of colors, and I bought it, it I don't know the brand, does it say here? Uh, yes, it's, it's this brand. Uh, they are 24 different color, color pencils, no. They are 24 different uh, markers, they are water-based. I bought them at the supermarket, and they were they weren't expensive. They were real. They were really cheap. But uh, I wanted to buy a, a set of brush markers. As you can see, they have a nice brush. And I've made some drawings with them before. But uh, I think this will be fun. They are really colorful. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of skin tone colors. Even like these two, they could be skin tones. This one, I'm not sure, I don't remember the color of this one, but it doesn't have a lot of variety, it's more like a rainbow. So I, I, I think I'm going to just keep the skin tone of the character, the paper color, just because 
First of all, I don't want to uh, color in the face and lose all of those details. But with the darker color, uh, I think that's something I'll have to work on later. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be coloring her outfits mainly with, the, mainly with the greens and yellows probably. And I'm going to wait for this to dry. If I want to add some more color, I, I have my color pencils over there. Oh, I have some more markers. Here, uh, let me see if I have all of them. Uh, I have these, uh, they are highlighters, but they are pastel, uh, so they are very light colors, really uh, cute. They were really cheap, I bought them at a local store, and I think they are really cool. They have a lot of um, energy to those colors. I can swatch them really quick uh, on a piece of paper. Let me just... Okay, <laughs> very nice piece of paper. Ooh, those are meth. Uh, these are from when I was studying for the exams. Not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the green. As you can see, it's very light. I don't even know if the camera catches it, but you can layer it quite a bit and it gets darker. Uh, I'm going to swatch the blue too, just because I think it's really cute. And the yellow. I'm going to swatch all of them. Uh, the orange, the pink, and the purple. Okay, I'm not going to swatch all 24 of these because that will take a long time, and I don't feel like it. Uh, and I don't feel like it, but I'll be swatching the greens. Here you are. There are four greens. Let's see how they look. They are a really nice brush tip. Okay, you can also like make it light or layer them and it gets darker, which I really like. Uh, uh, these are the first professional markers. They aren't professional in any way, but uh, before this I only have those for kids. I mean, not... Oh, this one is a little bit dry. Uh, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> it happens. I can't really complain. This one is really light. I really like it. If you layer it, it looks like this. And we have this one that is like a muddy green. Really cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna to swatch the yellows. There are these three. I think this is more orange than yellow. Uh, no, it's yellow. Okay, it's yellow. Uh, and after this, I'm going to erase it and we are going to try on some colors. Oh, this is this is like an highlighter. It's a little bit dry too. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'll probably use some color pencils uh, to add some details. But anyway, I think I'm going to erase that and organize this a little bit. I'm going to leave this paper here just to swatch the colors if I need to, uh, but uh, let's see what we end up with. I forgot to say that I'm going to put a layer of paper underneath it because, I mean, it hasn't leaked anything and you can see nothing from the pencil or the pen, but I don't want it to leak like the markers because those are uh, because those usually leak a little bit and I don't want to like leak to this space. If it leaks to here it's okay but not here. I don't want to uh, ruin another full page uh, just because of the markers. Anyway, let's, let's continue. <laughs> Okay, now that I've erased it, I'm going to just uh, get in some details that I didn't see uh, weren't lined with the pen, just to make it look a little bit better. Uh, just tweaking some minor things. Oh, I don't know if this pen will bleed with marker. It's going to be a problem. Uh, I think I'm going to swatch this uh, right now. If it's Mm, I don't want it to, to bleed. Okay, let's just make a little bit of pen over here. 
Okay, I think it's dry enough now, so let's try. Uh, usually lighter colors, usually lighter colors lift the the pigment more. So I'm going to choose a yellow. Oh, let's hope it doesn't leak. Let's hope it doesn't leak. Okay, first of all, I'm going to see if I can like be really precise and not touch it. Okay, I can, and now let's. Okay, it bleeds a little bit. Let's clean the end of the brush. I think if I'm careful, it won't be a problem. Okay, so <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous that I didn't thought about this before. I lined it with this pen, um, good decisions that I'm making with my life. But I think it will be fine, everything's fine, it will be completely fine. And so I'm going to start coloring. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's start, I'm nervous, okay, let's go. I start coloring and I chose the lighter uh, green for the t-shirt underneath because I think it would look nice with a darker uh, color on top, on those overalls. And as you can see I, I made it uh, very carefully because it's a chisel nib and it's kind of big. So I took my time and I filled in all the little details and then I made two stripes on each side. Okay, so I forgot to put a paper here, I'll put it right now, but so far it hasn't leaked anything, which I, I think is amazing. This was really cheap. And there was a bigger one, uh, the same paper but bigger. This is 15 by 15 centimeters, and there was another one that was 21 by 18, I believe, I'm not sure. Uh, and it was the same paper, but it was more expensive because it was bigger, obviously. Um, and I didn't bought that one because, uh, first of all, I thought this one was really cute. And I didn't know the quality of the paper, uh, but I may buy that one uh, someday. Uh, I'm really impressed. This was really cheap. I thought it was going to be a little bit crappy. But no, it's really good. It's really good. It's, it's impressive. Uh, so I, I'm going to get a piece of paper. Anyway, this one, it's, it has some calculations. For when I was studying, now I'm on summer vacations, yay! But I think that's that's two layers of paper, uh, so I think it's more than enough. Uh, let's continue, I forgot to say that. I started painting with this darker green on the overalls and I didn't want it to make it all uh, of that same color. I think it wouldn't have shown some of the details. There aren't a lot of details, that's true, but I think it wouldn't look as nice. So I made some stripes and I thought about leaving them just as is, but I don't think they would look that good. So I just grabbed another color and I started to fill uh, stripes, not all of them, just uh, one with this green and another one with the darker green and uh, I wasn't liking it just with those colors, I think it needed some more contrast because the lighter green was looking too much like the t-shirt green, so I will layer them a little bit and I also layered the yellow uh, on the, the little cuffed, um, on the cuffed legs and I will end up layering the, this green on the pocket too, so that it isn't just yellow. I painted the shoes a light green too, because I didn't want to make them dark. And the hat I made it really light, because I'll be adding some small details later. The hair I made it brown, just because it would look nice. I didn't want to paint it just yellow, and I didn't have a lot more colors. I didn't want to make it red either. I think brown is cool, it's simple, but it looks nice. Okay, so I think I'm done with the markers, but I still think I want to have some details with my colored pencil, so let me just get them here in the corner of my desk. Okay, so I have basically a lot that I've accumulated through the years. I have some of these things I was a kid uh, in like primary school, but I think they are great. 
some of oh my god they are a little bit pussy i haven't used some of these in a while but uh, some of them are like a kid level of quality but some of them are good uh, so i'm going to uh, add some details with them and uh, maybe i'll add a skin color because I think this looks a little bit too blank, so I'm I'm going to think what I'll do. I'll see you in a bit. I started to choose some colors and I I sketched them a little bit. I layered this green on the lighter green uh, just to make it a little bit smoother. I think it worked a little bit, and I used this one on the yellow of the pockets. Here I'm adding some details on the head. And now I'm choosing a skin color. Uh, I didn't color the skin with the markers just because I thought it would look the same as the hair and also hide some of the details. Uh, I don't have a lot of different skin colored markers so I think colored pencils were the best option, at least for this drawing. So I chose this light brown for the skin and I think it was a, a good option, at least for this drawing. Okay, I think I'm done coloring. I think I'm going to add a, a background, just a, a really simple background, just to make it pop a little bit. <laughs> As you can see, I just made a circle. I'm not very good at drawing backgrounds. So I, I was going to make it a little bit more complex, but I, I didn't feel like it because I'm not very good at drawing backgrounds. So I just painted it yellow. I left a little bit of a white line uh, in between the background and the character just to make it pop a little bit. And I just painted it with the, the yellow highlighter. The, following the really light um, guideline that I drew, uh, I think I didn't erase it, but it isn't noticeable, so I just leave it there. Okay, so I think I'm done with this drawing. Oh, I have to sign it. Okay, now it's done. It's signed here in the corner. I think it actually turned out really good. And uh, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Uh, let me show. I don't, I don't know if it's going to focus. Let me... Mm, focus? Okay, here, it's focused. Uh, I think it turned out really good. I'm going to show it better uh, in the end, but let's just see if it leaked. Uh, focus again. Okay, let's see if it leaked anything. Wow! What? <laughs> okay, so it didn't leak to this extra paper, and even on this uh, on this part, I layered it a couple of times. Like I think I used it like this one, this one, and this one on the stripes and it ended up looking great anyway and it didn't leak a lot there's just a little bit of a, a color but it didn't leak so I'm impressed this is cool, this is amazing <laughs> I should have got this some time ago but anyway um, I think this is it for this video uh, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. You can comment down below if you want to see any other of these, these designs because as you saw in the beginning, I drew th three outfits. Uh, this one, this one and this one. I like this one the most, so that's why I picked this one. But I really like this one. This one, not as much. But I really like this one, so if you want to see it, you can tell me in the comments and leave a like in this video. Don't for and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications in case you want to see uh, some different uh, drawings. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!